Yeah. Yeah. What do you think the change is? Because I talked to a funk bowling and they're over in Europe. They've been trying to right. do string machines for a long time. What do you right. think the catalyst that got people saying, okay, no, this is legit. This is a good way to go. Is, is it just the acceptance or what changed? I think it's the research and development of the string pin setter itself. Mm-hmm. Now, our string pin setter, we did over five years of research and development before mm-hmm. we brought it to market. And we have a lot of features in it that, frankly, nobody else has regarding the 24 volt, the capability to set individual pins. We have pneumatic ball doors in the system, so you can't get any pins caught in the ball tour uh, yeah. at all. So these are all features that make it easier for family entertainment center owners, because that's the real crux of what's going on here. Right. Most family entertainment center new construction, the owners are not from the industry, so they don't know about getting mechanics to, you know, fix traditional pin setters. Yeah. And it's very difficult. So your average center being built today is 12 to 16 lanes and they Mm -hmm. throw in the string pin setters and they don't have to worry about a mechanic. Anybody who takes care of their arcade games or something like that can take care of the pin setters. There's really preventative maintenance is nothing. So that's really the advent of the string pin setter was new family entertainment center construction with bowling as an anchor, not total bowling. These centers are only doing 30, 35% of their revenue in bowling. So they don't want to be spending a hundred thousand or so, like we previously discussed on parts, power, mechanic, Mm -hmm. things like that. And even the USBC has noted in one of their articles that one of the reasons for looking at sanctioning string pin setters is because you can't find mechanics in Mm -hmm. traditional pin setters. You just can't find harder and harder because it's Mm -hmm. a generational thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's really where the advent of string pin setters are going. And, mm-hmm. uh, I, I, we are one of the largest remanufacturers of free fall pin setters in the world. Every pin setter in stock that's from every major company. Okay. And I probably have sold 40 of them in the last five years. And that was, to South, and that was to South Korea. It wasn't even <laughs> domestic sale. Yeah. So it's, it's very interesting to see where the industry is going as far yeah. as string pin setters go. New center construction. I have probably one or two new centers that I'll build in the next two years that have free fall pin centers. Wow. Only because yeah. they want to be league based. But other than that, it's strictly, mm-hmm. you know, I'll probably put in three to 500 string pin centers construction compared to maybe 20. In right. Free fall. That's the trend. That's the major trend. Hey, did you like this video? Great. We make five of them a week. Subscribe to get more and to keep learning about what's working in the bowling industry. I'll talk to you then.